Yeah, con concrete, it, it gets its strength and compressive. So when we're trying to squish it together, that's where it has all its strength. Uh, in paving, parking lot, slabs where you've got movement of uh, trucks or forklifts, stuff like that, the concrete will flex up and down. Airport runways, for example, is a good one. It flexes up and down every time that airplane lands on it. If it didn't flex and it just broke, then we won't be able to land airplanes, you know. Um, generally, the flexural strength is going to be somewhere around 15% of the compressive. So if we're, say, 4,000 PSI, we might only be 600 PSI in flex. Uh, tensile strength is where you pull it apart. It's the weakest. You might only have 200 PSI maybe in tensile strength. That's why you see cracks in concrete all the time because the concrete shrinks, it's pulling. Yeah. It's got to give somewhere, so if you don't put a joint in it to make it crack in that joint, it's gonna crack wherever it's weakest. The rebar's in there to help restrain it. So it'll hopefully pull at the edges instead of the center, but that still doesn't mean you don't have to put joints in it, right. you know. And then, of course, you have fiber as well, and that helps. Now, there's different types of fiber. Um, they even make structural fiber now that you can use to replace uh, rebar. What is that? Is it longer fibers? Longer and thicker, and, and, and uh, it's got a higher tensile strength. How does that affect the uh, Well, on large jobs, you won't ever see it because you're putting machines on big double and triple riding machines and you're burning it in. What happens with it is, say, we have a five inch slump, which is okay to place with normal concrete. If we put regular fiber in it, it might drop it to a four or four and a half. If we put structural fiber, it'd probably drop it to a one or two inch, which is so tight that it'd be hard to place. So then we put a, a ad mixture in there called a high range water reducer or a super plasticizer. And it basically takes the cement particles and they work different ways. Some of them, it, it makes the ions of the cement retract each other, push apart, kind of like you're flipping magnets around. Yeah. Uh, some of them, it coats the cement particles and make them like ball bearings. Yeah. So the concrete flows like it's wet in places easy, but it doesn't hurt the strength. The lids are on here to keep the moisture in because if they dry out too quick, you'll lose strength. <laughs>